Imagine piles of plastic, sounds of crunching, scrunching, and laughter. A classroom full of smiling faces, one community helping another through bricks, eco bricks. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Willett and I'm a grade four educator at the International School of Ho Chi Minh City. I hope you enjoy my Nat Geo Certified Educator Capstone Project video. This eco-bricking Activity 2 adventure was the result of an Empowering Activity 1 lesson where students inquired into how understanding our audience can influence the way we communicate. The Teaching About the World Connections looked at human and natural worlds, local, regional, and global scales, and ecological perspective. After looking at the Nat Geo Ocean Plastics video, we knew that the scale was much more global than just the Philippines. To help visualize how global the scale was, we looked at the Nat Geo Global Conveyor Belt, as well as the Plastic Island infographics. Living in Ho Chi Minh City, my students are also visually reminded daily that we are drowning in plastics. The graphic images of animals dying within the Nat Geo content led to discussions how this is a local scale problem that spreads to a regional and global scale due to the ocean currents. These conversations especially highlighted the human and natural world connection, scales, and ecological perspective. From all this wonderful discourse, my students were super eager to take action on this, but weren't sure where to start. I suggested that we talked about making changes in our single-use plastic consumption. Then, I asked my students and their families what pledges they could make at home. To take it further, I proposed to my students that I'd reach out to our former staff sustainability expert, Tanya, to see if she had any thoughts or ideas. As luck should have it, Tanya needed our help too. Hello Saigon, this is an eco brick and we need your help to make thousands more because we're building the first ever eco brick school in Vietnam. Alas came our first theme, eco bricking, repurposing single use plastic in a meaningful project so it doesn't damage our natural world. My kids were energized to say the least. After a quick explanation of what eco bricks were, the need of Tanya's project and how to make one, I asked my kids what do we need in order to make this happen? Their response? We asked the teachers, students, and their families to bring in our plastic bottles and soft plastics from home and make some eco bricks. After confirming with the administrators at the school, we decided that allowing two to three weeks to gather materials would be a good time frame, and we announced what we needed to the community at the next assembly and through Seesaw. Plastic collection came in hordes, so we invited other classrooms around the school to help us in our eco-bricking adventures. As a grade level team, we decided to utilize our weekly community bonding time blocks to give time and space to those children who wanted to take action on this project by making eco-bricks. In total, our primary school community donated 160 eco-bricks to Tani's project. Thus leads us to our second meaningful theme of this project, connections with our community. The whole primary school community contributed to this project to help another, less fortunate local community in the Mekong Delta region of Vietnam to build a school from eco bricks. To summarize the connections to the Nat Geo Learning Framework, in responsibility, children were engaged in the action cycle towards meaningful change in their community and determined how they could contribute towards a sustainable solution towards reducing single use plastics. Children were empowered because they had voice, choice, and ownership in this activity, and it empowered many community members to take action. Collaboration, student teams spread from my classroom to grade level and further rippled into a school-wide activity. And finally, our changing planet. We learned about how making a densely packed eco brick could be used as a viable construction material. Ultimately, this simple science is a sustainable solution to the reuse of plastics built for single use that have detrimental effects on our environment. As a result of this activity, my students have an increased consciousness on this issue and are making these connections more often as a result of the Nat Geo activities one and two. This has been evident through parent seesaw responses, student reflections, persuasive writing projects, and more. I'll conclude this capstone project with these words of wisdom from explorer Robert Swan. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.